and here it is the feedback gaming a to z challenge i will play every single nation that has ever existed in hearts of iron 4 starting with uh no no uh no uh no uh no uh, uh, maybe a different day no i've already done that one ah here we are germany germany the german reich the challenge begins with broken strategies officer corps special forces doctrine was it paratroopers was it marines was it mountaineers Ooh, let's have a look the special forces of the germans between 944 and 945 were called the brandenburgers oh and look at that fine chap but not this one the brandenburg division was originally operated in eastern europe northern africa afghanistan middle east and the caucasus he got to afghanistan okay special forces definitely mountaineers probably likely however probably doesn't fit into one of these three categories more than likely however it's going to be a lot easier to get marines because naval xp is everywhere and check this out whatever path you go down there's an option at the bottom to add plus 10 percent special forces attack here and here and also here so if you go down all three paths you can gain up to a maximum plus 30 percent special forces attack but as germany you don't have the option to unlock the third brand so unfortunately you're gonna have to deal with the 20 percent special forces only how doable is it how realistic is it is it even possible well here we go so naval xp we're gonna need a lot of that so you're gonna exercise your fleet relatively indefinitely which gives you a crap ton of naval xp never been nerfed still get a ridiculous amount nice we'll finish off with these ships and to keep things simple we'll just keep producing destroyers and maybe just a few uh of these standard battleships off the back of it as well Milo on the ground we don't really need that much artillery and we don't even need that much anti-air luckily you can just make pure special forces and they're pretty effective yeah that's right we're gonna exploit special forces we're also gonna exploit volunteers in this video and i'm gonna show you how op pure special forces are with they're brutally brutally broken air xp is the hardest xp to get so we're definitely not going to be taking advantage of that much navy and land xp for the win here we go marines we're gonna need this from day one so let's get it and infrastructure is my new meta build i like to do this early game now and then follow up with some civilian factories rhineland and a crap ton of infantry as many as we can build five speed off we go all right start off naval reformer tag that with the comments rating because it gives extra xp yes and we can't do Angelus yes so we'll do some army innovations and also we need to work on army xp so army offense bro the first marines is complete and all the other upgrades are pretty op too soft attack and extra org is amazing infantry that perform better that's pretty much what special forces are all right spanish civil war send volunteers to spain and we'll send three volunteers as well okay welcome to spain brother and we need to find a fresh general that we can uh, grind and uh, commando is the trait that we want because we can make him part of the officer that gives a big bonus to commandos where is that there it is unfortunately the commando trait is really difficult to get you have to either be fighting in really high temperature low temperature uh doing a naval invasion and doing a paradrop uh, because it requires 700 xp uh it's, it's borderline impossible to get i mean it is doable but it requires an insane amount of grinding the easiest way of doing it though is to go into a spirit of the academy going for innovative leadership and you have a random dice roll opportunity to gain commando if you recruit a new general that is and a new general will cost you a total of 100 command power which is something we don't have a lot of right now so that's something that we have to work towards in the meantime we'll go for someone who we can grind to that role you'll do this mr frederick paulson let's hope you didn't do any war crimes let's hope okay upgrade your planes easiest upgrade you could do is add a turret on and extra machine guns and this gives it so much extra stats they'll do really well against the allies trust me and then upgrade all your old planes uh, what gives you more command power well more wall support and mr goebbels is the guy for that feeling a little bit of anschluss in 1936 let's give it a shot all right time to train mass amounts of infantry and basically exploit the volunteer system force how many do we want of these um uh, maybe 200 yeah 200 sounds a good number deploy drop them off immediately pump out those guns so now you've spammed out a ridiculous amount of the horses you've artificially made your army look larger than it actually is because it's not based on the amount of battalions you when you send volunteers it's based on the amount of divisions you have even if the divisions are very 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 small now you've got the option to send more volunteers in fact double six volunteers i think there might be a cap based on the size of the country because sometimes you can't send a lot of volunteers to very small countries anyway regardless of that look at this reinforcements to the front line 
Anyway, we have 100 command power. Let's roll the magical dice of Hoi 4 and see if we get a commando. Officer Corps, officers, and select a random boyo. All right, here we go. Otto Becker. And he is a reckless, brilliant strategist and an invader. But that's not what we're looking for. Otto Becker. He is a, a nothing. Again. No. And again. No. All right, pick someone else. This guy. No. Invader, no. Okay, after a thousand rerolls, here we go. Otto, burn man. Burn that man. Regardless, he is going to be our commando for Spain. And now this guy is super fresh and he's going to gain loads of XP, level up really quick, and he can become a commando. When you think you're helping and you're really not. Max, Navy XP, and you know where it's going? Marines. And this is the path you want to go down because it gives plus 10% special forces attack. 937, no war so far. Well, apart from the Spanish Civil War. And maxed Marines. Spain divided. Four way Spanish Civil War divided into two. All right, seven volunteers in the Spanish Civil War. We are level three now. Now, level four is the sweet spot because that means we could unlock him for the officer corps, gaining plus 5% attack and plus three special forces cap. And we'll not be taking advantage of that second one. Okay, I can actually convert these to Marines. How big is the division? Oh, it's very small. Very, very small. We need at least 20 width to make this worthwhile. We'll go 22. Can we convert? Yes! Marines have arrived. Oh my goodness, like a knife through butter. It's so easy now. And here we are! The officer corps! The commando specialist! And hire that guy immediately. 5% attack. But if he levels up to level 6, he can get plus 10% attack. And if he gets to level 8, which is borderline impossible, he gets plus 15 extra attack. All right, so the Republicans won. Let's hope that doesn't come back to bite me. Better question is, historically, when did the Spanish Civil War actually end? The 1st of April, 1939. The Spanish Fool. 5th of June, 938. Definitely a PB. Oh, guys, this is how you exploit special forces. So, proper heritage. Then you make that horse division that you made before that you specifically design to game the volunteers and you make this division exceptionally large and because it's free there's no one stopping you boom that's been done all these divisions now have no supply spread them out a little bit and now we have the option volunteers to japan and we can send 12 of those send to japan oh i never realized this but the austrian guy is a commando that's so much easier then and he's not a part of the officer corps so you could make him a commando and the breakthrough of the marines oh and i've run out of manpower Oops. force too big apparently chewing my way through china here effortless once again the damage they do even though they've not got artillery is just absolutely insane he's level five now max army xp ah but what really sucks i've got nothing to spend it on because i need special forces and you can't lock another branch until you're in a major war Hmm, that sucks. Oh well, guess we'll do the first few doctrines. And then logistical focus, my favorite. Infantry, can we convert them all to Marines? No, can we convert half of them to Marines? Yes, hope you guys on this front line. The effectiveness of special forces has no limits. And you know what to do at this point. You just kind of rush all the victory points and rush all the supply depots, classic. All right, Danziger War, Poland says no. You know what happens from this point and pull the volunteers back oh my goodness he's grind to level eight the reason why he's got level eight attack eight points of attack is because of bold attack i chased that early on i never thought it meant much of an impact yes it does all right the right boyos are back now get on the front let's go and also top that off as well let's start making our marines better level two marines and now we're at war with the major we can do diversify special forces oh i can only do that after the first of january well luckily we're really close when in doubt, retreat to a corner. All right, diversify the elite forces. Now we could spend our XP on Mountaineers. And there we go, max them out, plus 10% extra attack. Yes, and that affects Marines. Okay, it was a bit of a bumpy start to begin with. Most of my best troops were in China, messing around over there. But now we're in a position where we can do a pretty hefty counterattack. And off you go. Ah, there we go. There we go. Poland, no more. Poland, speed bump. Okay, things have turned around now. Is it the extra 10% attack? Maybe. More than likely that the troops have got full strength now and they're able to coordinate uh, a decent attack. All right, we're going to take a breath right now. Because what I'd like to do is just invade Denmark to get those delicious bacon supplies. 
and then exercise all my troops to level three and this guy is turning into a mighty fine general now so now he has got to level six he's leveled up in the officer corps now he does plus 10 percent attack the mark surrenders oh okay i thought for a second i'd not attack them i thought that was going to be like what surrender before i even arrived but no they did hold out just for a few hours okay then france does a naval invasion behind you france seriously bro you probably think oh my god what a disaster everything's going wrong nah this is great because that means i take out thousands of divisions of france and britain and now i'm in a really 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 amazing spot to take out france just gonna make sure i grab all the ports and then this area is secured oh did they pull out oh it was romania oh, romania joining the allies becoming a reoccurring theme now and i turn around and then the dutch are here hey listen i wanted a challenge and i got a challenge i'm pretty happy with this yeah, the beauty of this is these divisions are so unbelievably strong even when things are looking really grim right now i just turn them around like this like boop all right power of special forces we deploying them now are we doing this yeah let's do it up we go lads belgium then in the cast and just chew through them and uh defeating a significantly smaller french army because we knocked a bunch of them in romania and a bunch of them in poland so yeah it's pretty much no army here now vichy france and yeah, no. well seeing as the marines i suppose they're the perfect fighting force to do a naval invasion right yeah wonder how many we can do because we've maxed out special forces we can send 24 we can send all of them anymore 25 is the max all right okay Tilly was unable to take ethiopia from the african union now ethiopia is going on a rampage creating puppets against france all right naval invasion time and it goes i didn't have to do any bombings well that was easy all right cast the shoreline and this is an absolute win it's before the americans have even joined so this is a straight up win send the rest of the marines off you go on every time i push every time i attack it instantly destroys them because the cast damage is insane the most cursed liverpool capital of the uk and that's it gg italy has 14 percent contribution <sighs> that's enough to be annoying to where it interferes with my uh objectives i think the strategy is just to take everything yeah and then just dispute every single thing that they can test and i still think i'll be able to take everything due to my high amount of contribution everything 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 and around to some events we have the united states to join the african union oh, nice and then also we have uh the african union spreading throughout uh africa interesting and also japan declaring war on me because i own malaysia and they want that apparently they could have asked for it and i would have given them but they said no and declared war nice Poly 4 is great, right? Anyway, regardless of that, uh, volunteer spam still works. And uh, also, uh, special forces exploit still works. And also, stacking special forces on top of each other by using more, multiple trees is very, very strong. You want to do that as Britain? Get the special forces genius and stack all three branches because you can do that as USA and as the UK, but you can't do it as Germany. Sad. Anyway, apart from that, have a good day. Stay sexy. See you soon. Bye-bye.